Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on IP addresses. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Just a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R650 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll talk about now. This video is going to be specifically dedicated to IP addresses. So what we're going to do in this video is going to be a relatively simple. We're going to show you two different ways to assign your IP address. We're going to do DHCP and static. Let's get going. All right, we're going to show you how to configure the network settings for your 15th gen Dell server. We will need a network card and an active network connection. And we have two options for setting an IP address, DHCP, which is automatically going to pull your IP address and static IP, which we will have to set manually. All right, let's start with DHCP. So what we want to do is boot up our server, press F10 to get into the lifecycle controller, navigate down to the settings and on the left, select network settings. You need to select the network port that your cat five cable is plugged into. We are currently using embedded NIC one. On the IPv4 network settings, change the IP address source to DHCP and click finish. In the bottom right corner of your screen, this will apply the changes and automatically set an IP address, which will give the server internet access. All right, now we're going to show you how to configure the network settings with static IP. So same deal, you're going to boot up your server, you are going to press F10, and this will get you into the lifecycle controller. We're going to navigate down to the settings. And again, on the left side, we are going to click network settings. You will select the network port that your cat five is plugged into same as before. And again, ours is embedded Nick one. On the IPv4 network settings, we're gonna change IP address source to static. This will allow us to manually change the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. Here, we will change the static IP address to 172.16.50.0.0. And the subnet mask to 255.0.0. 255, 255, zero. Next, the default gateway will be set to 172.16.51. Finally, the DNS address will have an IP address of 8888. 8, 8, 8. Click finish in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Your IP address will be changed and saved to 172.16.50.212. All right, you've done it. You have successfully updated your IP address. If you found this video helpful, hey, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by guys, take care.